roll. Let's see if this show works. I'll explain what that means momentarily. In three, two, one. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Today is Wednesday, May the 6th, 2020. My name is Jeremy, and this is my first cup of coffee. That's really hot. Hold on. There we go. That's better. Oh, so good. So good. Salt in the coffee. I'm telling you, this is like a life-changing experience. Well, um, if you attempted to watch last night's uh, Whistle Kick Live episode, I'm sorry. Uh, we had some technical issues that don't appear to be affecting this show. Um, one of my top priorities today is getting that result. I will be calling Comcast this morning and figuring out what internet package I am bumping up to. And, uh, yeah. We'll try again. We'll try again next week. So, to those of you who tried to watch, again, I'm sorry. To Gabe, who put a ton of time into getting the show ready, I'm really sorry. Uh, but sometimes crap happens, right? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta roll it. And I'm aware of how baggy my eyes look, which is really unfortunate. After the show last night, I didn't, you know, I just sat, I watched TV, had a drink, and was just, like, annoyed at the world for, you know, and not working. I was looking forward to it. I like doing the live show. And we had a bunch of cool stuff planned, so, um, yeah. Crap happens, right? What else happened yesterday? Anything good? I got some work done. I feel like there was more work. Did an interview with a very interesting woman. That'll come out one episode though. That's gonna be like five ten. Weird. It's weird to be plugging people into slots for past five hundred. But episode five hundred oh, is next week. How crazy is that? Um, we recorded a thirty episode, a Thursday episode. Episode. It's gonna be episode five hundred one. Four ninety nine, which comes out tomorrow. Wow. Talks about uh, the history of Whistle Kick. Episode 501 is going to talk about the future of martial arts and predictions that I'm making. Five <laughs> predictions about what's happening in the future for traditional martial arts. We talked about doing a launch party. I, I had this idea, uh, not a launch party, a watch party on Facebook for episode 500. If that's something that you're interested in, let me know in some way. It's cold. It's like 28 degrees here. I woke up to the heat kicking on. And uh, there's a frost. There's frost on the grass. Welcome to May in Vermont. You know, it's funny. There are people who don't get their snow tires off their car until May. And uh, there are people who put them on in like September, October. And the heat runs in my house definitely th through May. And there are definitely days in September. There are even sometimes days in June. The only two days that the heat's really off completely are July and August. It's, it's cold here. And I'm thinking about some of the, the greens that I planted that hopefully will survive this. It's kale. Kale usually does okay. But this is why we have such a short growing season here, is that if you put anything out right now, you get smashed by the frost. <laughs> What's going on today? Uh, coaching some CrossFit, got a couple calls. Working on the videos for the speed program. That is uh, pretty much my second priority behind Comcast. But Comcast could take who knows how long to deal with. 
They're kind of the worst. If you didn't know. But if you have Comcast, you knew. Um, yeah. I don't know what the weather's going to be today, but I'm going to try and get outside, which is... I did not move. That's why That's why I'm wearing this. You'll see that over the last week or so, I've started wearing my, my step counter, my pedometer, again, because... I wasn't sure how much movement I was getting, and honestly, most days I'm getting more than I thought. But a day like yesterday, I was nowhere near where I needed to be. Oh, and I worked out a little bit yesterday. Felt good. We got some quotes, some comments, some things that people wrote in. If you want to ask me something, you know, don't be afraid to drop it below. I'll respond to it tomorrow. My eyes really bother me. Apologize, I keep touching my face. I'm gonna stop apologizing. Whatever. First quote here from Frank. As always, thank you, Frank. Coffee is a hug in a mug. Completely agree. And the first cup is kind of the best. And that's why we named the show First Cup. Coffee is a hug in a mug. If you ever wake up real tired, or, or honestly, it's not even tired for me. It's just like weekends, you know, you, you, you sleep late, and you get up, and you have that first cup of coffee, you sit down. Just, there's something ceremonial about it. It's not, even, it's not even just about the caffeine, or the coffee, or the taste, or what you put in. It's, there's something powerful about having that first beverage of the day. He's great. We may have just dropped out for a minute. Mm. Stupid internet. Conscience keeps more people awake than coffee. Mm. That inner voice telling you, hey, can't sleep. You did or didn't do that thing that you weren't or were supposed to do. Eek. I generally sleep pretty well. It's rare that something keeps me awake because I've gotten really good at saying that thing that is frustrating me, like the internet connection and not being able to do a show correctly. It'll be just as stupid and annoying tomorrow. So let's leave. Oh, tasty. I believe humans get a lot done, not because we're smart, but because we have thumbs, so we can make coffee. Flash Rosenberg. Well, I don't know who Flash Rosenberg is, but... Coffee is such an interesting beverage, and if you follow the history of coffee and discovering coffee and coffee versus tea back in the United Kingdom and, and, and just how coffee is consumed. And one of the things I found interesting about this quarantine is that people are doing fancy things with coffee. You see people making Thai and Vietnamese style coffee, which involve condensed milk and sweetener and Delicious. Uh, I think there, there's like a, inst like a condensed coffee as well. It, it, they're rich. They're very rich beverages. But I mean, even I tried. I tried using some of the birch syrup that I had to make a, a coconut birch latte, which didn't work at all. But I tried. If we can't go out to fancy coffee places and spend eight bucks on a cup. Might as well put a few minutes into trying to do something fancy at home. Right? And I wonder how many of those people will say, you know, Starbucks, I'm going to make it myself from now on. We'll find out. This is a really interesting time to follow the stock market and to follow individual stocks. It's something that I've been getting into because I realized that, well, the short version is... Uh, 
my investments weren't going as well as I wanted them to. Now we're not we're not talking about much money at all, so I don't qualify to hire a really good advisor. I have to get some kind of off the shelf person. But right now I'm doing some trading through Robinhood and it's fascinating to look at how a news story impacts the stock market and how right now, because most companies announce their earnings, their profit quarterly, here we are beginning of May and most businesses are letting us know what happened for them in the first quarter. You know, how did March go? March, of course, being the first month really of the pandemic here in the US. And you see a lot of businesses where earnings were down a third. Yeah, an entire month. They basically lost a whole month of revenue. And I just found that interesting. Not that they lost money, but that you can you can follow it. You can track it back so easily. This happened and here's where it impacted. Because there aren't a lot of ways that we can we can do that. How did I get there? What was that related to? I have no idea. This is a weird episode. It's a weird morning. I said I wasn't going to apologize again this morning. This is a fun one. This, um, this is kind of a riff on one that you know. Lord, give me coffee to change the things I can change and wine to accept the things that I can't. Frank's tracking that back to 2013, I would agree. That was, yeah. Way to be older than that. I think one of the greatest challenges, and it's, it's really apropos to how I'm feeling right now. One of the greatest challenges we have as people is letting things go, things that we cannot change. And it's a struggle. And it doesn't take more than a minute on social media today to find people who are struggling to let go of things they can't change. Um, it's unfortunate. I have a number of friends that I am constantly hitting that hide for 30 days button on Facebook and it bums me out because they're people I love dearly. But all they do is complain. And all they do is <laughs> complain about things that they cannot change. They're throwing stones at other people. And how does that make the world better? It's the bucket of crabs analogy. And if you're not familiar with that analogy, put a bunch of crabs in a bucket. You don't have to put a top on it. Because the moment one gets a hand, an arm up over the edge of the bucket, the others will pull it back down. Human beings have really become crabs in a bucket. We don't, we don't celebrate other people's victories. We don't lift up others, we have this, this tendency now to look, and this doesn't happen within martial arts training, we have a structure, we understand that generally, look at someone who's successful and say, well, why not me, you know, that person has a lot of money, they should give away more of it, you give away more of yours, or you worry about you, in fact, that's something that I'm, I'm prone to say, teaching kids, you worry about you, I'll worry about them. It's your job to worry about what you're doing, it's my job to worry about all of you. It drives me nuts. Where would we be if everybody focused on themselves and bettering themselves and, and their lot in life? Heck of a lot farther, I'm sure. And I'm not immune to it. There was something I watched from someone else in the martial arts space. And, uh, and honestly, they've been doing some things and I'm going to make sure I'm as vague as possible because I like this person. Um, something has shifted in their tone and the way they present themselves. And it's coming across to me a bit arrogant. And I don't like, 
I don't, I don't like arrogance, and I really don't like it with regard to martial arts. But I caught myself and said, you know what? They're making an impact. They're doing great things. And just work harder. Because, yeah, there was some jealousy coming up. I'm not going to lie. I get jealous. It's probably one of my least favorite things about myself is that I get jealous, but it's an opportunity to get better. And our final quote for the day. Water is the most essential element of life because without it, you can't make coffee. Author unknown. Better coffee, better water makes better coffee. Filtered water. If you're someone who uses tap water and you're on some kind of city water line that puts bleach in, oh, I'm sorry. Maybe you've gotten used to it, but that stuff kills the flavor in coffee. And yeah, you can get, um, I, if, if you are on city water, I would strongly urge you to get some kind of filter, some kind of gravity filter, because those are pretty economical. I have a system from a company called Berkey. I have no relationship to them. And it cost me a few hundred bucks, but the filters are rated for, I think, 60,000 gallons, and I have four of them. It'll last a while. Um, but you could go out to a mud puddle that was full of creepy crawlies and pour it in, and it would be good water. And they have a, the reason I bring them up is I, I believe they have a chlorine filter as well. Because let's face it, when you're on city water, you know how sometimes they're like, oh, hey, you got to, uh, you got to boil your water. That notice doesn't go out before you should have been boiling your water. It's always re responsive. And that means whatever's in the system, you're drinking. So any, I don't use it for cooking, uh, but I do use it for coffee, for drinking, for watering delicate plants. And just pour some water on the top, comes out the bottom. And it makes my coffee super tasty. All right. I appreciate the normalcy of being able to do this show and that even though I started the show frustrated because the last time I was in front of a camera, I felt like I screwed up. Last night I was really, you know, here we go. I'll be, I'll be really, really honest and open with you guys. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed because I have a fair amount of technical skill. And here we are, I'm trying to do this show that I've prepared for, that I'm excited for, that Gabe put time into. You know, we had multiple phone calls in the last month and he prepared things and we had a bunch of new stuff we were gonna try. And the chat is just filling up with people saying, the connection's really bad, it's really laggy, and, and they're just piling on. And I was embarrassed. And I felt like I was letting people down. I was letting myself down. I felt like I was letting Gabe down. And it reminded me, the, the last, I mean, I felt like this off and on from things. I mean, it's part of life. But the last time I felt like that really, really strongly, well, and it was much worse. That was when I hosted a tournament in 2016. And I was, I, I had so many things in place to make that event an over-the-top success to show everyone how much better of an event I could put on. And there were some key pieces that fell apart very, very quickly. And the event came to a standstill. And so here I am in the midst of this event with literally hundreds of people looking at me. And a small crowd around me saying, Jeremy, how do we handle this? What do we do? And all I wanted to do was just go have a nervous breakdown, but I couldn't because the show had to go on and we figured it out. And once we did, <laughs> I grabbed someone um, who had 
I barely knew at the time. <laughs> and I said, come outside with me. And I just sat and cried. And we're good friends now. I set pretty high standards for myself. And Gabriel, you know, not my fault. And yes and no. Um, might not be my fault, but it is my responsibility. And I take that seriously. And I'm going to do everything I can to fix it. I am sure that I see it as a much bigger deal than everyone else. Stacy says, heart that event has rocked my world. Well, Stacy, I, I, I think when I look back at that tournament, um, there were a couple people who really took a lot away from it and you were one of them. So thank you. I don't like to mess stuff up. I don't like when things don't go right. So we're going to, uh, we're going to at least double our expense on internet, on our internet connection <laughs> starting today. Uh. And we move forward. Because this is what you do, right? This is, this is a martial arts mindset. You go out and compete and it goes terribly as it did plenty of times when I was competing as a teenager. And you go back and you train. And as I've heard a few of my friends say, and, and of course this is a Japanese specific term, but you can swap it out for whatever fits for you. The answers are in the dojo. The answers are in training. The answers, they're all there. Just have to look for them. I'll find the answers. And if everything goes right, knock on wood. I don't know. I don't know, don't have no idea what this show looks like live because I don't watch it and then there's no picture in picture or anything. But maybe starting tomorrow the quality will be better. So, all right. I'm wrapping up a few things. One, remember, if you want to support us in what we're doing and help offset these internet bills and all the other expenses that go into all this content that we make, remember, you can support us in a number of ways. You can contribute to the Patreon, patreon.com slash whistlekick, and you get even more content. You can make a purchase at whistlekick.com, and if you do, use the code PODCAST15. Two, if you have something to ask or say, please drop it below and I will respond to it tomorrow. If you're new to the show, remember to subscribe, turn on notifications because we do the show every weekday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern here on YouTube. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to go drink more coffee because clearly I need it. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Peace.